Hello everyone, my name is William White. Welcome back to our video. Today what we are going to talk about is my new camera. Guess what? I got the Canon M50. No, it's the Fujifilm X100F. And I really dig it. It's a really nice camera. And today, I am going to tell you why it's so good. So the first thing that I like of this camera is just... Look at it. It's so small. Just look at it. It's so small. And you can just take it on the street and just no one will notice it. Except me. I will see everyone's camera. Oh, that's Canon. Oh, it's so nice. So the second thing that I like about this camera is the optical viewfinder. No, it's uh, the high hybrid viewfinder. Look at uh, it's it's just cool to use. You know, it's a rangefinder camera. Yeah, it's kind of retro and it looks like it looks like the old cameras. Okay, uh, it, it looks like these kind of camera and you can see, oh my god, it looks so beautiful. Sound. And this one, the rangefinder, it's here. It's a, uh, it's a viewfinder and yeah, it's cool. And look at, look at my, 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 my X100F. Uh, it also has a optical viewfinder, but it also has a EVF, and that stands for electronic uh, viewfinder. And look at it; it can just change it, change it. It changes, so it's pretty handy, but. I like to use the optical viewfinder. Yeah. So the third thing that I like about this camera is uh, its focal length. It is uh, 35 mil focal length to the uh, full frame, and it is not full frame, so it is uh, 23 mil f2 on this camera, and uh, you cannot change the lens on it. And uh, I think it's pretty nice because uh, when I was using my M50 to take photos, uh, my favorite lens is the 22mm f2. It is like uh, equivalent to 35mm as well. So I am pretty familiar with the 35mm focal length and I really like the look of it because it is not too wide and it is not too close. Yeah, it is just perfect. Also, I have another uh, lens for this camera. Uh, and it is a focal, focal booster. I don't know. It's another lens that I can just attach on my camera. Yeah. Okay, it's here, and uh, yeah. it makes the 35 mil puck length uh, to be uh, 50 mil. 50 mil. I I am not that familiar with the 50 mil, but I'll try. It's cool because like uh, Henri Cartier Bresson. Henri Cartier Bresson also used the 50 mil so he has a very big inspiration for me and it just like it just comes up like this this is the this is the lens look at this beautiful and you can just attach it like this yeah I got a 50 mil f2 Cool, isn't it? it? Looks bigger. 
Ja. Like it. So the 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 fourth thing I like about this camera, it's it has a lot of dials. Look at this. Hmm. Yeah, it has a lot of dials, and the dials are so fucking handy for for a camera. I I don't know. It's just it's there, and you can use it because. You don't need to go to uh, the touch screen, and you can you can adjust the uh, the shutter speed here and the ISO inside. You have to tilt it and just switch it, and uh, exposure compensation is here, and uh, aperture is here uh, at the lens. Just like yeah, change it, and it's amazing to have lots of dials. It's very quick. I like it. So the next one is about its look. Look at it. It's just beautiful. That's it. It looks retro. That's my type. Looks great. So the next thing, it's uh about its camera, this camera, and uh, I really like it because it has film simulations built in and you can customize them to uh, your type and they just look awesome. And you can also google some film recipe to simulate the film stock that you like, like uh, there is a Protra 400 one like and uh, Kodak Gold and Superior, that's my favorite. Yeah, so that's all the good things about this camera. And there are some bad things. Not really bad, it's just uh, some flaws about this camera. And the first thing is, it is not waterproof. Uh, so I think that is not very important, uh, but... Uh, Sometimes I would like to shoot in rain and just if this camera has waterproof, it would be perfect. So, uh, so this camera doesn't have a tilt screen. Uh, a tilt screen is really, really important for me because if you want to, uh, if you want to capture some low angles, low angles, and just you can't see the screen. And some high angles, you can can't see the screen properly. So, but it has the tail screen in the X100 V, uh, which is the newer version of this camera. Uh, but that's too expensive for me, so I think it's fine. So yeah, that is basically uh, what I think about this camera and. Uh, I will show some photos that I take by this camera. If you like my video, please uh, subscribe my channel and uh, hit the like button. Follow me on Instagram. Yeah, that's it. Bye.